626 is the time heart disease is the number one killer in the United States, so it's important to know where your heart health actually stands. Josh Helmuth is live in Northwest Bakersfield showing us new and groundbreaking technology giving more accurate heart health information. Josh, good morning. That's right. Good morning, Rob. Talk about something that's really kind of groundbreaking. This technology has been for, around for a while, but they've really figured out how to utilize it tremendously just recently. This is something I actually had done on Tuesday. We're going to show my results later on uh, during this show. But as you see right here, this is a CAT scan machine, but this isn't your normal, regular, typical CAT scan. It's something they measure called, it's a, it's a CT uh, coronary calcium score and something that uh, it, that that measures is basically the calcium the plaque build up around your heart and from what I've been told it's it can be more accurate when accompanied with other things other things especially other tests than an EKG or a stress test to talk about that with us is Dr. Salvo cardiologist Dr. Salvo tell us why something like this can be very important and it could possibly save lives well, it's a very useful test. It's been around for a while since the uh, 1990s, but it's really come on the scene lately. Um, really, as doctors, we're asked to predict what is inside your body and something that we can't see. So stress testing is a non-invasive way, but it doesn't pick up everything. Okay. Uh, they're about 90% sensitive at picking up uh, blockages in the small coronary arteries that we're talking about that feed blood to the muscle of the heart. But for the things that we miss, we really want to know what's going on inside your heart, and that's where a coronary calcium score can be helpful. Um, if you look at an artery, a normal artery has no plaque buildup on the inside of it, and these are, this is a repre representation of the small arteries of the heart. As plaque builds up, it starts as a fatty streak, mm -hmm. and then it becomes a little bit wider, and it accumulates calcium. And so if you do this CAT, CAT scan, you can actually see the calcium pop up before it would ever show up in a stress test or any other. Un unbelievable. I, as, as we keep talking about this, I want to show you back here in the control room. We have Dr. Cusseter back here with us uh, to go live on the air. He's a radiologist. Dr. Cusseter, after the CAT scan scans me, it scanned me on Tuesday. It only, the whole process takes about three or four minutes. Um, it's very low um, uh, radiation, correct? And while it's scanning my chest, this is what you see over here. Kind of tell us what you see and, and how you look and to, to find this calcium buildup around the heart. Okay, well, what they do is uh, after the scan's done, it comes over to this independent workstation. They take the data from it, and they're able to reconstruct the, the amount of calcium, if there is any, within, within the heart. And they take the measurement from that, and they give you a calcium score. And so what we're looking at here is uh, this is uh, Josh's. Uh, exam and uh, this is his heart here and we're looking at the coronary arteries here this is one of the this is the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery now in his case he's got a great calcium score it's zero so that's exactly what everybody good wants. news I'm psyched to hear that so uh, <laughs> um, but that's what we do here and, and we're looking at both sides of the of, of the coronary uh, arteries and, uh, and their branches and we take the measurement of calcium make a score out of it and with what the score the score determines uh uh, the level of risk that you may have a cardiac event in the next few years. We're already out of time for this segment, but really quick, what, what is a healthy uh, uh, score that, you, that you're looking at that you want? You would really, I mean, ideally you want to score zero, but uh, a score under 10 is really uh, the, the target as well. Okay, all right. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. We'll be here at Quest Imaging live throughout the entire show talking about this uh, really innovative technology that's really kind of uh, kind of groundbreaking in a way in the way we're interpreting uh, the way to read these uh, tests and hopefully save some lives. Someone you may know, someone we know at our station, we'll disclose who it is coming up, this actually saved his life weeks ago. Something that you can especially accompany again with an EKG and a stress test could be uh, insurmountable in helping you stay healthy with your heart. Guys, heart disease is the number one killer in the U.S. This is something everybody should be taking note. But Josh with a, a perfect heart score there with a zero. Josh, thanks so much. It is now 731. Yeah. Eyewitness News will be right back. It's called ACT coronary calcium score. It's more accurate than an EKG or stress test and it could save your life. Josh Telmuth has had his taken now in Bakersfield. And I'll tell you what, Josh, we always knew you had a good heart, but you got a great heart. <laughs> you know, um, it's getting me by. It's, it's still pumping, which is good news. Um, I don't have anything to worry about as of right now. I run a lot. My eating's kind of bipolar. I'll have a bunch of broccoli for lunch and then go have a donut. 
you know. But I guess you got to live life, right? You got to enjoy it. I don't know. But yeah, the CT coronary calcium score is something that's um, it's been around for quite a while, but because of the literature that's come out recently. Um, it's now covered by Medicare and a lot of doctors and a lot of facilities are really jumping on this and trying to get the word out and how beneficial it can be. With me is Dr. Cusseter and for just a brief minute we want to show our audience here this heart. This is not my heart. This is actually Brad Verrill, uh, uh, Brad Verrill's heart. He's husband to a co-worker at our station. This scan was done how long ago Dr. Cusseter? Uh, this just a couple weeks ago? Yes. Yeah. And this actually saved his life. He had a symptom where he passed out. He came in, got this done, and what you saw, I'm sure, surprised you. Yes, I mean, and when we were in the other segment, we were looking at a normal uh, coronary arteries. In this, you'll be able to see this bright stuff. This is the left side of the coronary arteries, and you see all this bright white stuff here is all calcium deposition in the arteries and this is all plaque so this is extensive this involves throughout the left uh, coronary artery and then we also see it over here in the right coronary arteries as well so when we took all this uh, plaque and did a 3d reconstruction and measurement of it the total score was 880 and that is anything over 400 is considered severe. So this was a very extensive case of coronary calcification. And so you, you read this, you sent this to Dr. Salvo, and Dr. Salvo, you immediately, what, got him in the next couple of days? Right, so when, when I was working up his passing out, this was really the only test that came back abnormal, and it was kind of the last test that we did. So he passed the EKG, he passed the stress test and everything? Yes, he did, he passed all the other testing. All the other testing was normal. This was the only wow. test that was abnormal. So again, this test is crucial in picking up the stuff that we miss on the traditional tests that we do. And for the cost of it, I mean, it's worth the peace of mind to have it because it can really save a life. And you say there's also groundbreaking literature that just came out regarding high cholesterol that it doesn't always link you to heart disease. Correct. We all know that checking your cholesterol is a good thing. And if you have high cholesterol, we all worry about heart disease. Well, a new literature uh, just came out that actually shows that this coronary calcium scoring is more predictive of underlying coronary disease than checking your cholesterol. So wow. in theory, you could have normal cholesterol, a normal uh, uh, lipid test, and have a high coronary calcium score sitting under okay. there. We're already out of time for this segment, but stick around for the next hour. We'll be talking more about the CT coronary calcium score and how it is so easy to do. It's extremely beneficial. I did it Tuesday. It literally took about three and a half, four minutes. And it's a very low radiation. They just do your chest. And like I said, it could really save your life because you can pass, like Brad here, you could pass an EKG or a stress test and still have a complete, almost a complete blockage of your heart, which a calcium score test will point out, guys. All right, Josh, thanks so much. We'll get back with you in just a few minutes.